Good afternoon. How is everyone? Well, I'm not a model maker, but two years ago I made a model steam engine because people said I couldn't without a lathe and stuff. And uh, I was given a pillar drill and it ended up far better than I expected, to be honest. Did a lot more work than I ever intended. Anyway, people, I know quite, quite a few people, as you, I think you know, make a lot of these very small models. And uh, one of them, of course, is Lyle, Tubal K. And uh, I think last week he had a very good idea because he made a very simple one to try and encourage the kids to make one. And this gave me an idea. I thought, well, what about if we all make one? Um, just a simple, cheap one, made out of what you've got or what you can buy cheaply, you know, without any, without which machinery, mainly hand tools, probably a drill press, and that's it. And the whole idea is to encourage young kids to have a go. And so, if we all make one, I've had a, I've had a quick word with a couple of people, and they think it's quite a good idea. So. This is, a, as I say, we're calling it the Model Steam Engine Challenge, not competition. I must emphasise that. So what we do, I'll tell you again in a moment, I might tell you five times on this video, just to remind you, that we all make a little engine, right? Out of what we've got or what we can buy cheaply, what's readily available. And uh, then after a few have made it, you know, it might be one or two make it, might be ten, might be hundred, thousand, but share this, you know, share it as much as you can with as many people as you can. Share the idea. Let's get a lot made because at the end of it, you know, in two or three weeks, whenever, um, we could, I, well, I, I'll do it, I don't mind, obviously. You know, I can put just a very short clip, put a video together of a very short clip of what people have made. You know, and as I said, the whole idea is to get people, get young kids to get off the Xboxes and Playstations, you know, and get them to do it. Because um, if we don't, and no one does it, well, where's our engineers going to come from in the future? You know, so... That's the general plan, as I say. Right, I'll now show you a bit of my engine and uh, what we're about to do. Here we are. That's what we did a couple of years ago. I'm not a model maker, as I say, but some people are. And they make lots, especially these small ones. You know, what they call wobblers, oscillating engines. Now, I'm sure some of you well now Lyle, Tubal Kane, and he's made lots, and just recently he had a very good idea because he made a, a small, very simple one with the idea of encouraging young kids to have a go. Well, this gave me an idea. I thought, well, let's see if we can get people to make one themselves, and let's share it share it with your friends, share the idea and let's get as many as possible to make a small simple one and then you know as I say it's a challenge it's not a competition you know I'll stress that even several times probably it's not a competition right the whole idea is for a few people hopefully a lot of people to make one so in two or three weeks, whenever we can uh, get them all together and we can, so I, I can do it if you like just put a clip of the finished ones as many as we can get and let's share the idea and try and get some of the young kids to have a go that's what it's all about so I've looked through my stuff um, I didn't have any to miss pliers, my mates and I didn't have any you want just a small piece of square alley. You know, that's slightly oblong, but it's hollow. Well, I've got that. 
and I've got a bit of copper pipe. I can't find anything for a piston. You only want you only want half an inch, do you? You, know, you don't want much. You know, and then you could I could glue that in there maybe. That's one. Anyway, as I say, I, I've even been to the shop today and I couldn't find anything. And uh, you know my casting project. Well, I melted some alley the other week, so the whole idea of this is to make it as simple as possible with simple tools. You know, that, so anyone can have a go. So you don't need a workshop to make it. That's the thing. Anyway, I got the angle grinder and I've cut myself a piece. Now, like I said, it isn't about, well, you can make it as nice as you like, you know. Nice or nasty, it doesn't matter. The whole idea is to make one and show it. That's it. You know, it shouldn't take more than, I don't know, a couple of afternoons probably. So I've cut that piece. It's about, what, three quarters square, I think, something like that. Not quite square there, but all I've got to do is get one flat side, because it's an oscillating one. You know what they're like, you've seen them. So we can show you making one or two, hopefully. Now, for a base, I found this that I was given, and I've got these in my scrap box over there got that and that you know you could bolt that on there and if it's not tall enough I've got another piece that you could add on the top so if I make a couple and I have one either side you know and just uh, have a go at that so what do you think right let us know I've uh, I haven't got any Loctite left so I bought that it's glue actually it says anyway it's supposed to it's supposed to be similar stuff. Should do. You know, I don't glue stuff normally. I don't work on models, as I say. So that's the general plan. So they are. What do you think? Is it going to work? Are we going to, you know, are we going to get one or two people bothered to do it? Um, hard to cost anything. And us elderly teenagers, you know, um, we need something to do in the winter, don't we? I know it's summer in the other half of the world but uh, it's only going to take you know a couple of hours or an afternoon whatever isn't it a couple of afternoons to make one or two so I as I say I think honestly think it's worth it because if we can get the message out how easy it is to do I'm sure that young children, maybe your grandchildren, maybe you can help your grandchildren or children, you know, let's all do it. So, look forward to hearing what you think. It's all about having a bit of fun.